Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and the bellows is pretty much done. It works really, really well. Uh, I haven't put the back panel on it yet, uh, but I put it flat down on the floor so air couldn't come into this side. And as I was working it, the air was sucking in this side and blowing out that side. It works really, really well. So I'm going to assemble it here, and uh, you know, once I get the back on, we can uh, you know give it a little bit of try if the camera is still rolling, because this camera has a wonderful five-minute maximum runtime. All right, I'm going to put a bead of glue all the way along the edge here. I'm always a big fan of screwing things together and gluing them together. It just seems to make a really nice, nice strong bond. And this will also make kind of a seal. Now one thing that I haven't done in terms of seal is there were some gaps around the uh, trash barrel kind of thing there. I was planning on putting silicone glue on there, and I still may do that, but even without uh, putting a bead of glue around the whole edge of the thing, it, uh, whew, man, it really works really, really great. I'm very impressed with it. All right, I got some marks on here to help me guide this on. It has a bit of an overhang, and the reason for that is that it, it'll give me something to uh, kind of catch this, uh, this edge on in the root cellar when I am kind of mounting it to the wall so it'll be able to kind of just have like a hook edge there. I'll, I'll show you what that's going to be like once we get in there. So, I'm just going to put in uh, most of these screws and, uh, and then we'll do a test so maybe we can get this in before the camera runs out. Oh man, yeah. the, uh, the plywood just delaminated there. Uh, I'll have to deal with that separately. Uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll pump some glue in there, put a clamp on it. And, I don't know. Quality control lately, it, all the lumber areas has been uh, not that great. I've had lots of quality control issues, but whenever you deal with it. <coughs> all right, uh, other things I've been working on today. Uh, I finally got the last of the uh, PVC conduit onto the, uh, onto the uh, antenna out in the back, so that is, uh, that is coming along. Uh, you're going to see me try to get that up over a tree. I haven't decided yet. I'm either going to take a piece of fishing line and tape it to a bullet and fire it with a pistol over the tree, or not really, um, but I am thinking about possibly doing it with a arrow, a bow and arrow, launch it over the tree, or maybe uh, cast the fishing line with like the conventional way you would do it with a fishing pole. So one of, one of those or the other, I, I got to cast a line up over a limb and then use that to haul the thing up. Okay, I'm going to put one more screw in and then we'll give a little test here. Uh, other things that I've been working on today, I don't know, not sure, I am, I'm working on a storage shed out here. Uh, it's not that exciting though, so I haven't really brought you in on that. Okay, so we got the back on, I do have some more screws to go in there. but. Ow, jeez. There's uh, screws sticking out of this, and I scraped my leg on one. I should probably put some silicone on those. Okay, so this is the side that it draws air into. So when I pull this back, this should open, and when I push it, this should close back up. Now, uh, what's an easier way to hold this? Okay, how about like this? Here we go. It's definitely working. I don't have long, flowing locks of hair, but if I did, they'd be blowing all over the place. And you can see the other side, not that you can see both sides at the same time, but when I, I do the, uh, the blow function, oh, I'm sucking my shirt in. See, it's only opening when I'm uh, pumping it up. So, am I shaking the camera? I'm shaking the camera with it. Yeah, it's, it, it's really effective. This works really, really well. I made it the smallest that I could uh, for what I wanted to do. And I think that push comes to shove, this is going to be able to pump all the air that we need down into the, uh, the fallout shelter if we ever needed to use it. But hopefully don't have to, we won't have to use the fallout shelter as a shelter, and hopefully if we did, we'd never have to do this, because this, after a while this would get a little tiring. That's it. Thanks for watching.